everybody, welcome to another edition of His Turn, Her Turn. I would be the His Turn part of that, Paul Bryan, along with Lauren Fix, the car coach. Hello, everyone. We're really excited. This is another car show season, but it, it brings a lot of excitement in because, you know, consumers say, yeah, I see what's on my dealer floor as I drive by you know, the dealership, but we're showing you stuff that you haven't seen yet. What makes the Detroit Auto Show cool yeah. is that it's not only a car show, but it's also a great gathering place for everybody in the industry globally. That's what we're going to give you a peek into. It's a big show. Should we just give them a... How big is it? It's that big. Yeah, <laughs> it's so big that. Let's give you a quick look around, show you what we saw, who we were able to run into, and who we could get some great information for you. Nice folks to talk to as well. We'll do yeah. that here from the North American International Auto Show. 2017 North American Car, Truck, and Utility Vehicle of the Year winners are the Chevy Bolt EV, Honda Ridgeline, and Chrysler Pacifica. They won the annual awards in their respective categories after evaluations from 60 North American journalists. This is the first year for the Utility Vehicle of the Year. This is all about the team, uh, the team, the team. There's a lot of technology that is invented, you know, in the cycle of making the product. So it's not, you know, it's not a science project happening outside of that. So to do that on the main line while you're developing the car is very tough. And uh, that's what this team did. What an honor to have the Bolt EV named uh, 2017 North American Car of the Year. I think every year should start this way. And so it's certainly a happy new year at Chevrolet. Chevrolet, GM's mass market brand, unveiled the world debut of the 2018 Traverse. Traverse, as you can see, has a bold and refined new look. We've always been excited to be able to reveal this vehicle because we really believe that um, this is the vehicle that's going to lead the segment. It's been designed with amazing customer insights. And now we're launching a vehicle which we think ticks all the boxes. So it's an exciting time. Ladies and gentlemen, Lexus's new fifth generation flagship sedan, the 2018 LS500. Lexus unveiled a longer, wider, lower, lighter 2018 Lexus LS500 gliding on stage in a sleek metallic gray, revealing a new level of athletic luxury for the flagship brand in its world premiere 28 years after the first Lexus LS debuted in Detroit. Ford, the company started its press conference with news of a new F-150, but the biggest applause came with the announcement of the automaker bringing back its once abandoned Ranger midsize truck in 2019 and the Bronco SUV in 2020. Mercedes executives rolled out the all-new E-Class Coupe on the stage. They also celebrated the 50th anniversary of the AMG Performance sub-brand by showing the new AMG GT C Edition 50. Mercedes-Benz is also showing the concept EQ prototype for future EVs. The North American International Auto Show here in Detroit always has some excitement. Everything from a lot of hybrids to performance cars to trucks diesels, I mean, it's got everything. It's Detroit. Volkswagen is taking aim at the mid-size SUV market in the United States. They introduced the sporty 2018 Atlas R-Line SUV. It's their first entry in the segment for the brand. Welcome to Volkswagen at the North American International Auto Show here in Detroit. This auto show makes a real turning point in the history of Volkswagen in the United States. Uh, these cars uh, have a specification which exactly follow uh, the wishes and the demand of American customers. Volkswagen is taking the American customers seriously. Cars designed for American buyers and built in the American region, attractive prices and great quality. That's the foundation of Volkswagen's comeback here in the United States. VW also took the wraps off the classic microbus-styled ID Buzz concept. Back in the 70s, 
uh, the, the Beetle and, and the bus were, were the icons. Uh, and the first reaction, I personally, and also the, the first uh, people looking at it, we are all really excited about it. BMW officially took the wraps off the all-new 5, heralding the best-selling line of vehicles for the automaker in the U.S. The 5 Series is the seventh generation produced by BMW. I'm very proud to present to you the next masterpiece, the new Audi Q8 concept. Well, I'm going to slide a wheel underneath Lauren here for a little bit. I was able to corral up uh, Philip Brabeck, who is the uh, head of product development for Audi. And oh my, have you been a busy guy. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. You know, obviously uh, SUVs have been a big trend in uh, the States and I think worldwide overall. Uh, last year for luxury sales, 53% of the business has been in SUV. Right. So we definitely see the trend there. And it makes sense for us not only to be adding to um, you know, uh, new generation vehicles, but also be looking at new portfolio opportunities. And that's what the Q8 is. The global debut of the all new 2018 Honda Odyssey. Honda unveiled the fifth generation of its popular Odyssey minivan, the first in the Mark's lineup to use a new 10-speed automatic transmission, also to be built here in the United States. Toyota introduced the eighth generation of the widely popular Toyota Camry, the best-selling car in America for the last 15 years. It represents a completely new strategy to the way the company designs, engineers, and packages its vehicles. Please join me in welcoming the new 2017 Rogue Sport to Nissan's U.S. lineup this spring. Take a look at these new vehicles from Nissan, and I have with us Christian Meunier, who is part of Nissan, and I want you to tell us about some of the new things you have coming out, because you just came off of the Consumer Electronics Show with a lot of exciting news, and you have even more here in Detroit. So tell us what's new. So it's very exciting. Today we're uh, bringing the Rogue Sport, yes. which is a, a product which has been a second generation of Rogue Sport, mm -hmm. which has been in market in Europe for almost 10 years now. Mm -hmm. The new Rogue Sport is available with a wide range of features and our advanced intelligent safety shield technologies. The list includes intelligent cruise control, a round view monitor, forward emergency braking with pedestrian detection and more. Volvo introduced a real family from Sweden on stage that will drive one of the 100 cars to be involved in the company's biggest autonomous testing program yet. Kia rolled out the world premiere of the Stinger GT, a rear-wheel drive, eight-speed sports sedan that is fueled by two engine options and can hit 62 miles per hour in 5.1 seconds with a top speed of 160 miles an hour. Well, clearly this is not like a bad Christmas morning where you woke up and you had the wrong gifts. I mean, there, there's a lot of stuff that the wrappers were taken yeah. off of. Infinity took the wraps off its QX50 concept vehicle, using the 2017 North American International Auto Show as the stage for what the luxury automaker says exemplifies its vision for a next generation mid-size premium crossover. This SUV concept has it all. The combination of expressive and daring design and outstanding performance with a state-of-the-art technology. China's GAC motor is back after two years and is now on the main floor of the show. GAC made the worldwide premiere of three vehicles. Sometimes when you get to the auto show, you find some really cool product that fits the need of pretty much everyone. Yeah. And then so Paul and I found Karma. I'll let you take it from here. Well, I guess every, karma. Every, everybody's karma finds everybody, don't they? <laughs> they hope. Yes. So we've got wheels within wheels. I like yes. that. At a wheel show. <laughs> Tim Taylor is with us at Karma. He's the chief revenue officer there. Sir, this is a car that we saw in a, in a past life that has risen Phoenix-like into something that's going to be in, finally, driveways. Tell us it about it. It is, very soon. Yeah. yeah, we were very fortunate to find this dormant car company with a huge amount of very short-term success when it came to the market and uh, 
you can see by the car and everybody that comes to look at a very gorgeous car. And uh, now we're bringing it back to life. Because it's a little different. If you think Aston Martin, gorgeous looking car, yeah. Lamborghinis, Bentleys up at that high price. So there's not very many made. So this is a low volume car. So a lot of people are interested in that for exclusivity and to be unique. It's gorgeous, which is uh, typically what you get in some of the European yes. cars. But it is a hybrid. So it's a hybrid in the sense that it's all electric. Electricity is always running the wheels. But it's got the gas backup. So the gas can kick in, charge the battery, like the, like the Chevy Volt. And so basically you have 300 miles range and really not limited. Karma was here at the Detroit Auto Show, but Faraday Future was not. They chose to present their FF91 vehicle at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. I came to Faraday because uh, you know I had a dream for sustainable transportation, and I wanted a company like YT said that's all in, that could have a purely offensive strategy, and nothing was grander than, hey, let's go make this super powerful, super high energy, uh, super long distance, let's just break the boundaries of what people thought electric vehicles could be. And I'll tell you, all the engineers and, and all the designers are just so thrilled to have that refreshing experience to, to just work on the future. It constantly amazes me as to how much new information, new product, new technology the industry brings to the consumer on an annual basis and it just keeps expanding. Right, and there's more of that on our website. You can follow me at laurenfix.com. Sign up for the free newsletter. Follow me on Twitter for what's new and breaking at Lauren Fix. And I tweeted the Paul Bryan, T-H-E-B-A-U-L-B-R-I-A, and I, I got it right. You got it right, oh, good. Okay. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much.